Okay, so welcome to your Vendo 56 um, vending machine. Uh, I'm just going to take you through the key things that you need to look out for as you operate it, which is easier than writing a manual. So, first of all, is to get into this main uh, coin mechanism piece, always uh, turn this handle down so that it's horizontal, so that you can get into it, um, and then you unlock it here. There is only one key, so don't lose a key or get a, get a copy made and just unclip it like that and then because the handles like this <coughs> you can then open it up and this then gets you to the coin mechanism so the coin mechanism works um, you put a coin through it and it will drop all the way down through here and it ends up sitting in this bit here uh, I'll demonstrate it all to you in a moment but <coughs> then you'd have the, the, the handle obviously be here you push the handle down and it'll then enable you to take a drink and then it will drop the coin down into this little black bit here so we only have one dime which I will include and it will be in here so you can get it to vend you a drink but getting some more dimes would be uh, a good idea because you'll get fed up with going in and out um, to keep on getting a dime back. To get into the actual uh, cooler part itself you just pull this down and it will open up and then there you have all your drinks. So to be able to adjust it you can adjust each of these shelves to take a different size bottle. So if we take these bottles out, <coughs> you can see each of the shelves that are in here, they just lift up and you've got a series of notches that are on there. See these notches there, and then the notches there. So you can actually move them backwards and forwards based upon the, the size of the bottle. So the smaller the bottle, bring it towards you. It's a larger bottle, so if you want to put in bottles of Peroni, for example, then you push it back there and it'll be able to take those. And you've got all the different trays here. Some are a little bit rusty, some are pretty good condition, to be honest, but they all work and all the little openings here, they all work. You've got a refrigeration unit here um, and another one down there. To be honest, not an expert on the refrigeration units, but it does go icy cold. Um, when you've got it turned on, there's um, a control there to decide how the temperature is. So that's that for now. I'll show you the coin mechanism working next. Okay, so just a quick point on this catch. See the catch there with the handle? It goes up and down. It's got the little uh, bit that it hooks onto there. So hold it like that when you push it shut and it will just go on there like that. And then you literally just push this handle up like this and then that's it, sealed shut, nice and tight. Okay, so here we have a dime, uh, and we pop it into there. And you'll hear it kind of goes halfway through the unit. Then you push this down, and you can hear it drop. There it's dropped into that little black holder I showed you before. Then you can open this up, and because it's dropped into there, it then releases the mechanism that holds each of these bottles. So then you can decide which bottle you want to take, and you put it out. There you go, let the door shut, keeps the cold in. And that's it, that's how the coin mechanism works. You just need to be careful with the coin mechanism not to put the wrong denominations down there. If it does stick or the coins don't go through it, a bit of WD-40 and a little bit of love will get it going again. I'll show you just a couple of the controls on there just so that if you do find the coin isn't dropping through, you know which bits to be able to unclip and look at. So on the, on the coin mechanism, you've got a few bits which you can, which are sprung, which if you need to release a coin, if a coin's got jammed in, if somebody's put in the wrong coin, for example, you want to try to remove it and just do this and it just springs back the mechanism and a few of these pieces do sort of spring back. You can actually take out the whole mechanism if you wanted to, if you want to clean it or lubricate it, then you can take it all out. And then these little slots here are where the different coin denominations will drop into. Um, it's set up to run the dime because it's what it says on the front. It's just a 10 cent uh, vending system. So I would always leave it at that and just get some more dimes and they drop into there when functioning. You've got various little different controls here. Just be very careful not to bend it or mess about with them or let somebody else mess about with it because you may well find it difficult to find somebody who can actually fix one of these. We've basically just taken it all apart, lubricated it, cleaned it all and put it back together again. And she works like a beauty. Thanks very much.